Hello everyone and welcome to Art with Teacher Rona. Today we are going to learn about the artist Henry Matisse. Matisse once said, there are always flowers for those who want to see them. What a beautiful quote. Matisse was a colorful, non-conformist artist. He was born in 1869 and he died in 1954. Let's get started. Let's familiarize ourselves with Henry's beautiful art. On the left you'll see his famous artwork, The Green Stripe, and on the right, a woman with a hat, which is currently hanging in San Francisco Museum of Modern Art. He made this in 1905. Beautiful! Notice the colorful artwork on the right side, the cat with red fish. Henry made it in 1914. Henry also painted still life artworks, like the one on the right. Matisse was born on the 31st of December, 1869. He grew up in the northern part of France. Henry's father was a grain merchant and strict with him. He wanted him to become a lawyer, so he went to school in Paris. His formal education was in law, but was introduced to painting by his mother in 1889 while recovering from appendicitis. He quoted, From the moment I held the box of colors in my hands, I knew this was my life. Henry Matisse's mother said, Paint your emotions, Henry! Okay, mother, I'll sure do that. He spent a year studying art in Paris, but left to train under artist Gustave Moreau, where he could explore more modern styles of painting. In 1997, Matisse met painter John Peter Russell. Russell introduced him to Impressionism and to the work of Vincent van Gogh. It opened a new world to Matisse. Henry Matisse's early artworks. This was one of Matisse's first paintings done in 1890, a still life with books. Matisse painted his first masterpiece in 1897. It was called The Dinner Table. He continued to paint, being influenced by the post-impressionists Vincent van Gogh, explored the use of line, texture and colour. On the left you'll see an example of Henry Matisse and on the right Vincent van Gogh's Starry Starry Night. In the year 1900, he bought a painting by Paul Cezanne. His paintings were quite dull up to the point where he discovered Cezanne's art. Suddenly, his artworks became more colorful and bright, as you can see in the example of Cezanne on the left and Matisse on the right. He also took on some of the style of pointillism. What is pointillism? It's a technique of painting to create a solid figure using tiny dots with two or more colors. The colors from a distance mix to create a new color. Oil on canvas type paintings often seen as brighter or purer because the eye mixes the color. In the early 1900s, Matisse developed a new style. He began to paint with bright masses of color that were freely applied. He used the colors to express emotion, often using colors that had nothing to do with the natural colors of the subject. In 1905, Matisse, together with fellow artists Maurice de Flamenc and André de Rau, exhibited their new style to the world. One critic called them Fauves, which meant wild beasts. The name stuck and
and their style of art was called Fauvism. The French artist André de Rue. What is Fauvism? Say the word Fauvism. It's an art movement known for its vivid, non-naturalistic and exuberant paintings with bold color and large brush strokes. Overall goal was to express emotion through the color of paint. Use of intense, bright, clashing colors, distorted forms and perspective, vigorous brush strokes, flat linear patterns. The Red Studio was painted by Matisse in 1911, near the end of the Fauvism movement. You can see that Matisse was not worried about making the painting look like a studio, but rather to create an interesting arrangement of colors and shapes. One of Matisse's 1905 paintings was a woman with a hat. In this painting, you can see that he uses bright and unnatural colors to paint the women. It brings a different level of emotion to the painting. Although Matisse was initially criticized by some for his new style, Women with a Hat was purchased by major art collectors, giving Matisse renewed confidence. Oh, merci, merci. Unfortunately, during World War II, Henry was diagnosed with cancer. He was operated in 1941. The operation was successful, but it became hard for Matisse to paint. During his time of illness, he was nursed back to health by a group of nuns. It took almost two years. The sad part is that he was struggling to walk and had to use a wheelchair. Henry wanted to thank the nuns and repay them by rebuilding their church in Vence, France. He designed everything, including the stained glass windows. Beautiful. Salts and collage, a look into what could be called his second life. Due to his health deteriorating, he gave up painting for collage, the art of cutting paper. Collage, a piece of art made by sticking various different materials such as photographs and pieces of paper or fabric onto a backing. This is an example of his art studio with some of his cutouts and designs against the wall. Even though Matisse was sick and in a wheelchair, he still wanted to share beauty with the world through art. Henry had assistants who helped him to pin his cutouts into place. This is an example of his large-scale cutouts and collages. This is one of his large-scale artworks in the Museum of Modern Art in New York. Let's start with our activity, 2D Create Collage. A base, construction paper, poster paper or white paper, A2, A1 or A3. Select materials, color paper or scrap paper from old magazines and newspapers. Cut or tear the shapes. Remember to try organic shapes instead of geometric shapes. Arrange the shapes on the base according to a theme of your preference. Rearrange shapes until you are happy with your composition. Attach the shapes with glue. Remember to recycle all extra paper and clean your workstation afterwards. Notice the difference between geometric shapes and organic shapes. I'm sure you can make similar artworks to these ones. Look how pretty, it's beautiful. Very good, well done. Do you want to watch more art videos? Subscribe to Ruana van der Marwe, Art and Music Teacher. Goodbye!